Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I would like to talk about a particular theorem related to moment generating function. So here we have a random variable x where its mgf, the moment generating function, is represented by this uh, formula here or notation. Um, so we have another random variable y which clearly depends on x and a and b here are constants so a and b are constants and the uh, mgf for random variable y is denoted by this uh, symbol right here therefore for every value of t such that the mgf for x that depends on a t is uh, finite then we can find the mgf for y using the formula given as such Mm, let me just try to summarize the idea given by this uh, whole statement. So basically, um, the idea is that we have our random variable x and this random variable here has um, known MGF. So the MGF here is given or is known beforehand. And um, let's say the MGF of x is denoted by this symbol so the, the function for for x and here depends on t um, now what we have next is we also have another random variable y which clearly depends on x okay so we have x over here so y depends on x ax plus b to be exact and in this case um, we are actually uh, looking at how can we find the MGF for random variable y. So in other words, what is uh, MGF for y? Okay. Now notice that x here comes directly from the previous information we have about random variable x. So that's the relationship between y and x. So in order to find the MGF for Y, you can use the formula given in this purple box. So that is the idea and the problem that we have at hand. Now let me just go a bit further to actually prove that this one given here is true. Well, in order to prove the statement given there is true, we are going to consider um, the starting point of finding MGF of random variable y. The starting point is, of course, according to the definition, is by finding the expected value of E, T, and Y. So Y is our random variable. So here is our Y right here. Next, <clears throat> so this one comes from definition which you have seen in the previous video on how you can find the mgf of a random variable now uh, we can easily substitute the value of y y is just ax plus b okay and we are just going to expand the whole thing at the top part right here so it becomes dax plus db okay and of course, if you um, follow the law of exponents, that is similar to writing out t a x dot e t b. Okay, so this is just by um, using the law of exponent. This part here can be separated into these two terms. Okay, next, um, notice that this guy here is a constant because it doesn't depend on x remember x is a random variable and clearly this is the constant and uh, we have learned in mathematical expectation in the idea of mathematical expectation if you have a random variable x so a here is a constant the result can be written as a e x right so we are going to follow the similar idea therefore the constant here can be taken out and we have e, expected value of e, t, a, x. Now, for the next part is, uh, uh, we are going to use 
the definition okay so now from from the definition we know that if i have e t x this is representing the mgf for our random variable x and here depends on t okay therefore if i have this term here so if i have e this is uh, a t x then this is um, going to be the mgf of x so x is our random variable so the mgf of x where the um, item that we are going to um, depend on the function here will depend on a t okay so here a t so that's the idea we are um, trying to come up with the solution to this by comparing with the a given definition okay so because of that um, I'm going to write the result therefore the result here is going to be e t b then this is the mgf for x here is our random variable x and it depends on a t a t or t a is the same thing okay so then the result here the final line here is um, is a proof that the statement given here is true okay okay if you want you can exactly um write down those of e b t okay you can switch it no problem okay so that's it so now it matches the formula given in the purple box all right now let's move to a practical example related to the application of the theorem given so here we have random variable x where the moment generating function is already given as such and now the question is asking you to find the mgf of a new random variable y where y here clearly depends on x okay so uh, based on that it should occur to you that by hook or by crook we are going to use some information related to um, x so we're going to use this information given here now i'm going to show you the steps to obtain the answer to this and i hope you can see that um, the steps that i'm going to uh, take does not really require you to to memorize the formula so you don't need to memorize the formula given here because the process is is quite natural okay so i'm just going to show you how the process is now again we are going to find um mgf of y okay so let me just start by writing it explicitly mgf of y this is what we are looking to find out and the starting point for that is of course to find the expected value of e d y okay so that's it basic definition now you can just replace y with the representation given here so it is 3 minus 2 x next we can expand the top part right there and it becomes e t 3 t minus 2 t x okay next we can write down in terms of e 3 t dot negative 2 t x recognize that this is a constant doesn't depend on x so we can take it out so it becomes e 3 sorry t pretty okay correct expected value of e negative 2 t x and again we know that uh, by comparison okay so i'm just going to compare what we have here with the definition of mgf 
So the definition of MGF says um, E, D, D, Y is just the MGF for random variable Y and here depends on T. Okay. Therefore, if you have E expected value of negative 2 T X, okay, then this becomes the MGF for X. X is our random variable and it will depend on negative 2 T. So we just follow a simple comparison. If you have Y, so we are talking about MGF for random variable Y and here it depends on T. Therefore, if you have negative 2 Tx, x is a random variable. So this is uh, the MGF, definition for MGF of x. And the one that we are depending on now is negative 2t. Okay, so that's the idea. Right, so now here it will be MGF for x. And here is negative 2t. What it means is you are going to replace A negative 2t into the position of t. That's the idea. Like how normal function works, right? Hmm. So, final answer to that. Uh, it becomes e3t. So, the mgf of x is this one. 1 over 1 minus negative 2t. And it becomes E, 3, T, 1 plus 2, T. So that's the answer. So that is the MGF of Y. So again, uh, I hope when you look at the steps that I have taken just now, you can see that I actually do not uh, think about the formula at all. But my thought process is really just you know very natural it comes from what is the definition of mgf and then what is y just substitute y and then you expand it simplify however you can take out the the the, the constant and then uh, by using simple comparison you know that this is just the mgf of x where uh, over here is not t but negative 2t and then negative 2t here will be replaced uh, and substituted at this position and you will get the mgf for y okay i think that's all for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video